All right, so in that last one, we briefly put in this new field here for file field uh, that would allow us to upload images to our model. Um, that's okay, but let's say, for instance, we wanted to use a better version of file field that Django has built in. And if we look at the model reference, we'll see that there's this one called image field. Now, one of the challenges with image field is it re requires the pillow library. This is the Python imaging library. It's the newest, latest version of PIL, which is also known as the Python image library. Pillow is the newest and latest and greatest. Now, in order for us to be able to use this field, we have to install Pillow. And what this field does, it's the exact same thing as a file field, so a normal upload field, except it, it checks whether or not it's actually an image. And then it also does the height and width, so you can grab those things after it's uploaded, uh, where the file field does not have that. So to install Pillow, it's actually not as easy as one might hope. Um, so if you, on your computer, you can try pip install Pillow, and this might work for you. It might install, it might actually go perfectly as according to plans, uh, but that doesn't always happen. So I created a little install guide on our GitHub account. So if you go into e-commerce, there is the Pillow image field I believe that's what I'll keep calling it, but you could go here. This is basically the install guide that we will have um, on installing Pillow onto, and using the Django image field. So you can go through this and depending on what computer you're on, um, go ahead and check this stuff out and see. There's a, It's basically a troubleshooting guide for you. Um, and then if all else fails, you're just going to use the file field as I mentioned at the bottom of this. Um, another thing that you might consider is uh, letting me know if you find another alternative answer than what I've laid out here so then it can help other people. Um, but if you can actually get to the point where you install Pillow just like what we see here, uh, that's good. That's what we would like to work towards because you want to have the ability to verify whether or not you're going to be using an image versus a file field. Um, so. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to continue on using an image field. But again, this is because my system's set up and it's ready to work with an image field. And I actually do not want to put this inside of the product model. I'm going to take it out of that because I would much rather have it in class product image models dot model. And this introduces the concept of a foreign key. So what I'm going to do is go product equals to model or yeah models dot foreign key and product. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually linking these things together. They are now going to have a relationship to each other that this uh, model each instance will have a product instance that it's also related to. So we can actually work with those things together. It will make a lot more sense when we start working with it, so just keep that in mind for now. But I'm going to use uh, foreign key for product, and then I'll do image equals to models dot image field and upload to equals to and make sure it's product slash images. Now make sure you don't have a slash up front, but you do have a trailing slash. That's definitely what you'll want. And you could say null equals true, blank equals true, that's okay too. Um, I'm not actually gonna do that and I'll just define the Unicode. Return self.product.title. So all I'm doing is returning the title of the product. So it basically it's gonna be a list of all the images for that specific product. And then I might wanna have a featured image. So I'll do models. Uh, boolean field default equals to false so like I don't actually want all of them to be on default being true um, and then what we might want to do also is like updated just like what we have up here so when it was last updated um, yeah so that's probably good for now we could also say like thumbnail as a boolean field might as well do that too default equals to false as well uh, all right so now we have this new model that is associated to our product model and it's mainly for 
all of the images that would be related to one product. So if we had a hundred images for one product, we'd be using this product image um, model for that. So it's associated and that allows us to have it separate from our product model and also do other things with our product, right? So if we wanted anything else to be associated to that product, uh, we can remove it out by doing this. And it, it just makes it a little bit easier for us to work with because especially when it comes to using multiple images where we, if we only had one image field here, that means we'd only have one image. And then we couldn't have all these uh, other, you know, like settings for it, like featured or thumbnail or updated. Like we wouldn't have individual settings for each image on that front too. Uh, last thing I probably want to have is active and I will put that above uh, updated. All right, so whether or not it's active, so this is something like, you know, if we have a, a image that's coming up that we want to use, we can put the active as false, stuff like that. So when we actually get into using these images, we'll see how that, that works then. All right, so now that we have this, we just jump into our terminal and we do python manage.py schema migration products auto. And it added the model product image. And again, it's singular because each instance will be an instance of product image. So now we can do python manage.py migrate products. And another thing to note, if product image, if this model, this whole thing was above the product model, this right here, we would have to put the foreign key inside of quotes in order for that to actually work correctly. But since we have it below, uh, it, it already comes like the in the file it's before. So Python's gonna read it and then it's gonna actually know where to reference it to. All right, so now that we have this, uh, we actually need to set up a way to store our settings files or our, our uh, excuse me, store our static files because if we don't have a way to store it, then it's not really gonna know where to store it and it's probably gonna run into some errors. So let's actually test it out at this point. I'm just gonna run the server and then go into the admin and notice that we only have products so we need to add the product, the product image into the admin. So in products, in admin, I'm just gonna import product admin and then below this, I'll copy that and add in product image. Oops, not product admin, but product image. All right, so now I registered the product image. Now I can go in here, add product image, choose image, and I'm just gonna choose, uh, for now I'm just gonna choose get basics, the image that I already made. And look, I can grab a product Right, so this is a product that's an actual product and then I can choose whether or not it's featured or it's the thumbnail and whether or not it's active. If I hit save, product was successfully added. And if we look inside of products, we see there's this new folder now called images and that's where it uploaded it to. Uh, what? <laughs> we don't wanna actually have our static files inside of the um, app that we're working on. We want it to be separate because um, and especially when it comes to loading our, our software, we don't want the static files to be in with everything else. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into the admin. I'm actually gonna de delete this image that we just uploaded. And um, you should notice that it actually does not go away from here, it's still there. So I'm actually gonna delete that entire folder. So in the next one, we'll actually set it up to where um, it will upload to a completely separate folder and then we can handle a lot of our other static files as well. So we will see you in the next one.